Hey yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to more Steven Universe. It's been a while since I watched this show, maybe about a week or so. After episode 45, Rose is Scabbard, I needed a break because that run of episodes, and especially that episode, was the best quality that this series and the season has had thus far. It was amazing, it was peak, and it might continue even into this episode. But I wanted to allow myself some time to sort of just absorb that a little bit. And also, I was kind of busy with other YouTube things and series. So now we're going to get back into the mix to finish off this last stretch of the season. And also, we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. 1K, we're almost there. So I'm very excited. So if you guys want more Steven Universe, obviously we're finishing season one. But if you want to see season two and three and maybe even the other ones, you got to let me know below. You got to subscribe. You got to like. Remember, too, we're doing My Little Pony as well. SpongeBob and Patrick show when that comes out. And Mono Guitari. If that sounds all interesting and good for you. Subscribe. Join the Patreon. Do those things. All right. Let us continue this last stretch of it all. Steven Universe. Season one. Episode 46. Open book. Go. Oh, the crystal gems. Steven, sorry, I didn't say that part. Flubbed it a little bit. Might be my karaoke song. Destiny's End. Alright, sorry about the good music. Alright. Where's my water? No! <clears throat> it's over there. So, what did you think of the edit? I thought no, it was gone. on page 917? I thought it was a disaster! <laughs> uh, all the books leading up to this seem to be tropes really mm. self-aware about being a pastiche you know yeah um it mattered mm. lisa and her talking falcon rebels challenging the stifling traditions yep. of the magical bureaucracy i love connie right now I she's me i loved that then her to a human and she's they very get into married. her immediately completely dropped all the anti-authoritarian stuff and described a wedding cake for 50 pages mm -hmm. yeah it's there weren't even strawberries on it. I bet since the books got so popular, the for a larger audience appeal. Unlike art, the real world can't always win against the iron. You know, chains if of the writer's authority. saying this, they at least know. That's my theory, anyway. Maybe foreshadowing hmm. things, maybe. It's just disappointing, considering I invested extra with maps. Mm -hmm. I wish I could give you a new ending. <laughs> Oh. It opened for me. Why? I can make anything I want. Really? Well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> cool. This is my mom's room. I can control. Floating whale to give me some fin. <laughs> Dang it, I... Unbelievable. I really want How water. does it work? Dang the room it. can make stuff. How about the Infinity Fair from Book Four with merchants from on and yet to be? We should probably keep it simple. Infinity Fair. Oh, that's still infinity. Simple. <laughs> okay. Well, what really matters are the characters. Room, I want to be a falcon. Oh, yeah. Gotta keep it simple. Amazing. I want to be Lisa. Do I need to be more specific? No, I think you were pretty general with the Steven Falcon. has to oh, say Oh, sorry. It. I guess the room only makes stuff when I want it. Make a costume shop. Oh, yeah, good idea. I want a costume shop. Wow, this place is everything. 
You thought it was red? Yeah, the color of the setting sun. Fine, Steven. <laughs> Are you gonna be young, Lisa? Well, if we're ultimate Lisa, oh. with the best gear from every book. Like, what if she never lost? in the class for two signature not to do for sure and i always like the dragon whisker boots wait a minute come out i want to see you oh what that's awesome whoa you look awesome yes thanks okay thanks. let's do this <laughs> end of the series lisa and your falcon familiar archimicorus are at the about to get married but we don't want that ending <laughs> so instead Wait, really that was the ending hmm, uh marrying the falcon uh, i don't know what do you think sounds awful hmm, what do you think uh was well... elisa a business proposal we can start a business together turkey legs to make money to help out our fellow rebel comrades with that if you would room hmm. turkey legs get your rebel turkey legs Tur i'm a falcon you are a bird of prey so <laughs> what should our next move be oh i, th um, I thought this was for her though let's feed the know? wind lizard <laughs> Looks like a rebel. Wow, from book four. Mountains, but he's just visiting because he heard about these turkey legs. Lisa. He okay, I guess our business is a success. If you think so. So. Needed to be more anti authority and stuff? Mm -hmm. Or so, I just complain? Uh, we're. The authorities I don't like. Come on, Connie. We're here because, for you. Because we're selling without a permit. But these are uh, free range turkeys, and they didn't listen to anybody. Whatever you think. Really? I'm a little confused by this. All right. And then I think and they attack us. <laughs> you can't stop us. Jeez, these guys are corrupt. What should we do? do. C come on, I'm really trying here. How do you want the story to Okay, end? you're annoying as hell, I don't Connie. Know. I, I just We're here for you. for you. Yes. This isn't really like you. I want? Yeah. Uh uh, you want me to no. Connie, are, are you alright? I want what you want, what you want. What? What? I want a what, tiny what, floating what, whale what, to give me some. What? 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 But I want to see what, you. What? 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 You're not what, Connie. What, what, I must have left the real Connie back at the costume what, shop. What, she. What, she. What, I'm done. What, what, I'm done what, playing. What? That turned. Why didn't you disappear with it? You want it. Oh my god. Uh, where is Connie? It's gained autonomy. C Connie? Use... Is that you? Connie, you told me you wanted me. it. Doesn't matter. Please don't follow me. I don't want you to. Ah, uh, 
That guy. That's, yeah, they got me there. Damn. I know what you really want. I know Ah, oh, Steven, finally, there you are. Oh. Ah. Hey, this is Ooh. Hey. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. And I know you want her to. Whoa, we're tackling this. This is such a creative That's way to why you tackle can't this. Tell her the truth. Get off him! I'm kind of serious. Tell her, Steven. I like the ending of the book. Oh. Uh... What? Makers got together in the end. They were always so thoughtful towards each other. And I and I loved every page about the cake. I wanted to draw a picture of it. I'm I'm sorry I didn't like it. I just mm -hmm. I just didn't want you to think less of me. Mm. That's better. Yeah. That's a good way. Yeah, yeah. For, especially for the media do, interpretations, right? Do you right? think I'm a bad person for liking the ending? <laughs> of course not. I. It's just a book. But you really care yeah, about it. Yeah, she does. I care about you more. Oh, of course you like the wedding. You're Steven. You love... This, this, this episode baited me so many you times. You make a good point, but don't you remember how Arkham... ...the sword. No, she almost fell into the volcano. He was worried about spells. Yeah, but Archimicarus didn't know that. Like how he, he, Even see, he birds hasn't, can yeah. fall in love. That's great. I guess you could read <laughs> the fat art. Okay, wow. Wow. That episode did. Nice. That episode did a lot, and I was surprised in the turns that it went into. And this, yeah, this has so many meanings. But the main thing here, because I think we can divert our attention to romance and identity and the powers of the room and stuff. But the main thing here was that Steven actually liked the ending, which Connie was very critical on saying that it was garbage, it was this, it was that. And I think if you have friends who also like the same things that you do or like just media in general, and they view the ending as like a bad one or they actually like a bad ending. Sometimes as sort of that elitism and that I know this and I know better than you do. It can kind of bleed into it because now we're like, oh, you like that ending? Well, you don't have taste. You don't know anime. You don't know cartoons. You don't know shows. You don't know music. So I actually really like that commentary about this whole thing. And you know how... The way that we are really strong about our own opinions and the way that we form them, it can actually put off people. Because if we dismiss that this thing is garbage or really good, maybe some people would be afraid to actually speak out. Like, yeah, I think it's actually really good. <laughs> so that was the main commentary on this episode. There was still some inklings of maybe there was a romance thing, but it really wasn't. It was about liking the ending, not liking each other romantically. There was the room stuff sort of happening. Then there was the autonomy that that version of Connie got as well. So see, there was so many twists and turns this episode. So that's why I actually really liked it. Because I was so mad at Connie. I was like, Connie, what are you doing? I was, again, like, they got me. They got me. And then they got me again with the with the wedding dress, with the you like it thing. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a lot to look into this episode. So... Technically, a drop off from the previous episodes, but I still think this deserves its respect and praise because it's so creative and it's twisty as heck. Yeah.
<laughs> All right, guys, I'm not used to this because usually I watch two episodes, but then I kind of learned that it's one episode blocks actually. So I think I've been giving you guys a double feature every time and I didn't really need to do that. <laughs> but it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Um, that's gonna be it for me though. So thank you guys for joining me and I will see you when I see you. <laughs>